What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at the content, but then I also am going to go through some of the leaked Bundesliga team of the seasons. We have it fully leaked. I don't normally do leaks and stuff, but I figured I would try something new. I'm very excited for tomorrow. I'm honestly a little bit more excited for the Bundesliga than I am the Prem, but if you guys don't want to get spoiled, I will put indications in the search bar below. So you guys can just turn the video off then or you can purposely avoid that part because I don't want to ruin the surprise for anybody. But let's see what we have today. League One Uber Eats Grand Finals. As if anybody's doing or watching anything like that. Team of Season Daily Login is back. It's only for 584s. Like I'd rather it be longer and give way better rewards than having one every week for kind of crappy rewards. 280s, 281s, 282s, 575s, 283s, 580s, and then 584s, like I said. A little bit disappointing, honestly. Um, let's see. Do we have... I'll go into the store first. Let's see if we have a preview pack. Let's see if we can get one as good as we did yesterday. Um, I don't know. If my... I'm saving my um, Rivals rewards. No, I have to wait four minutes. I'm saving my Rivals rewards, by the way, until Bundesliga. Just have a little bit extra packs. Um, they'll be in a video tomorrow. Um, I sold my foot birthday messy. That's why my coins are so high. Um, let's see. Nope. Nothing new today in Evos. Now it's all down to SBCs. It's Thursday, so probably some marquee matchups. The icon pick is still there. The daily login. Don't forget to do it. The rewards aren't the best, but still, it's better than nothing. Um, so daily login. The 85 player pick is there. We do have marquee matches for a 50k pack. That's not too bad. I'll, I'll be saving my packs for tomorrow, though. And then, anything else? Stephanie Hewton. I was kind of expecting a guaranteed um, women's Premier League SBC today, but we have an end of an era. 91 pace for a center back, 92 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, 96 defensive awareness, 91 strength, aggression. Great, those are great stats. Good passing and dribbling for a center back. Reactions and composure could be a little bit higher at this time of the year. Three star, three star, five foot nine, so not the tallest, but she has all the defensive play styles, including intercept plus and aerial plus, so that'll give her a little bit of help. Power header and long ball pass and first touch. So that's not too bad. I mean, she doesn't fit my team, and I don't really know who she is, so I'm not going to be using her. But an 85 and 86 squad with a team of the season or a team of the week in both, that's honestly a little expensive. Like, I'm sure she's going to do well, but when you compare her to the likes of Alexandri, who's coming in at 58,000 coins and is upgradable, I don't know if that's the best value. Yeah, she's coming in at 162,000 coins. That's too expensive for this, in my opinion. That's a pass. I mean, if you're a big fan of her, you're a big fan of the club, she fits your team, go for it. It's not the worst thing in the world, but for somebody that doesn't really know her, and when you look at all the alternative center back center backs options we have now, she's kind of a pass for me. But that is going to be the daily content, so now we are going to look at the Bundesliga Team of the Season leaks. Okay, so before we get into the... Um, Bundesliga League Team of the Seasons, we do have a new loading screen. It seems like Ronaldo is coming two days and 23 hours. That might be a mistake. It might come tomorrow. You never know with EA, but if not, that'll be Sunday. 99 shooting, 94 dribbling, and he's a Team of the Season plus. So that means he's going to get minimum two chem, which is crazy. I could expect the same thing for Messi eventually when he comes. That's huge giving those players some chem boost because I've had Messi in my team all year, and he's always been a pain to get on full chem. And it seems like we have a Team of the Season moment Spalatelli, I'm assuming, and the comments seem to rectify that. Um, he looks good. Spalatelli is always a really fun card, always good for people that like to troll. Um, he doesn't have the 99 dribbling like his Winter Wild card, but those are two exciting cards to look forward to. And now we are getting into the leaked Bundesliga team of the season. This is the full team leaked. Um, I don't know about ratings or stats, if they're just a prediction. I got this off of Twitter from Foot Sheriff. Go follow him. They People leak stuff all the time. You can see stuff before, before I get to it. Um, but this is the full Bundesliga team of the season. Very, very exciting cards. I'm honestly so excited for the moments alone. Forget even the main team of the seasons, but we're going to dive more in depth with some of these. So we have Tapsoba, who I'm very excited about because I personally love Tapsoba. I've liked him for many years now before he, like, 
got a future stars and became more famous. Um, but I was disappointed that he wasn't in the voting, so I'm happy that he's getting a moments card. Adeyemi, who was an absolute monster yesterday, just a complete engine running up and down the field. Uh, Davies, probably the best left back in the game incoming. Sancho, who again yesterday was incredible, um, definitely deserves a moments card at the bare minimum. Anton, who I don't know about, he's probably going to be the fodder one. Ta, who had a great season, but again is going to be fodder. And Slutterback, I like Slutterback. But all the center backs are probably going to be fodder price. I was very disappointed that Hummels wasn't included in the voting. My goat, uh, man of the match yesterday. Um, hopefully he gets some kind of recognition. And then uh, M9 Malin putting everybody's Evo to rest finally with a new 92 rated team of the season. 98 pace, 95 dribbling, 90 shooting. That card looks great, but I really don't anticipate him being too expensive. Then we have... Team of the season, Openda, 99 pace and 90 physical. That card's going to be like the new Timo Werner. So I'm sure he's going to be really good. Boniface, who had an amazing season. He's going to be a tank. I'm sure they're going to give him probably like Ariel and Power Shot Plus or something like that. He's going to be more of a Holland, Harry Kane-like striker. The goalkeeper is going to be Koble. And then Chavi Simmons, who had a great season. Going to be a very well-rounded card. Um, probably going to be very expensive to get. And then we have Upa Makano, who I honestly have no idea how he is getting a card for Team of the Season. He has not had the best season. And every time I see him in the Champions League, it's kind of painful to watch. But Upa is always popular on FIFA. Another French center back. You can't complain. Uh, Coman, Team of the Season moments card, 95 pace, 94 dribbling. Again, these stats aren't official. I don't know. Um, and then Skoretska, who I'm so excited for. I love Goretzka. My team name is Leon Skoretska. It's been like that for like two years. Um, 88 pace, 92 shooting, 91 passing, 91 dribbling, 89 defending, and 93 physical. Who knows if he'll be 90 gang all around. Uh, maybe 9 golden gang, maybe not. But regardless, he'll be Hullet gang. This card's going to be incredible. There's been so many Evos for him, so it kind of makes sense that EA are giving him a card. And then the card that I want to get the most, Marco Royce. Who doesn't love Marco Royce? I love him every single year. I look forward to his usable card. And this year, his pace split hasn't been the best. So hopefully they boost him up a bit. But 93 team of season moments, Royce would be definitely going into my team. Then we have Xhaka, Garassi, and Ping Pong. Um, Xhaka definitely deserved the season. He played his ass off. Definitely was incredible. I don't know how they're going to boost his stats. Um, he'll probably be hulking no matter what. Who knows how much they're going to boost him. Uh, Xhaka, typically when he gets a team of the season card or any kind of special card, he's kind of mid and he's typically the objective, but this year it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. So hopefully they give him a big boost. Um, Garassi, again, is going to be similar to Boating Face. He's just an absolute monster. Had a crazy scene, season. He definitely deserves a great card. This The question is how usable are these cards going to be? Um, and then we go to Fring Pong. I love Frimpong. Him and Grimaldo are going to be the ones to go for this this team of the season, besides Verts and Musiala, spoiler alert. Uh, but Ping Pong, 99 pace, 97 dribbling, 90 defending, 93 passing, 88 physical, and 86 shooting. He's going to be the best right back in the game. He's going to be better than Cafu, better than anybody you're using right now. So, personally, I'm very excited. I love Frimpong. I love Grimaldo. I love the way Leverkusen have been playing this season. So much fun to watch, so I look forward to him. Hopefully, I don't know how expensive he's going to be. His team of the year is really expensive. So uh, hopefully he's not too much. And then lastly, sorry it's a little distorted, but we have Musayala, who's going to be crazy. 99 dribbling, 81 defending, 85 physical, with 92 passing, 95 pace, and 89 shooting. According to the leak, at least, um, Musayala is a monster. I used him in the beginning of the year, a much worse card than this is obviously going to be. And he is just so silky on the ball. He's like messy the way he dribbles. Um, maybe he'll be 5-star, five 5-star. Five star. You never know. Uh, but Musayal is going to be a big boy. Grimaldo, who I'm so excited for. He, in my opinion, Grimaldo deserves nine golden gang, like 90 stats in all stats, no matter what. I think that he just honestly was like the player of the year of the season. Um, I don't like Verts obviously was incredible, but Grimaldo, I think Grimaldo really changed that team along with Javi Alonso. Um, so Grimaldo is honestly the one that I'm looking most forward to packing. Um, I think he's going to be the best left back in the game besides maybe Davies because if, if they give him 99 pace, he'll be the best in the game. If they don't and they give it to Davies, Davies is probably going to be best in the game. You know how pace works in this game. 
Then we have Harry Kane. Incredible season. First season away from Spurs. Sadly, he might not get a trophy. You never know with the Champions League. Um... But Harry Kane is always great. It's just a question of how usable they make him. Like, are they going to boost his pace up to 90? Is it going to be an awkward split? Um, is his agility and balance going to be really low? But Harry Kane's one of those cards this year that is just broken. It doesn't matter how fast or how slow he turns. He just scores on you no matter what, and he's a demon to play. I personally love Harry Kane. So again, the question is, is how usable is he going to be and how cheap is he going to be? Um, I anticipate him being in a lot of people's reds. Um, this weekend, but I would definitely try out Harry Kane. I love Harry Kane, and I would honestly even consider playing him as an attacking center mid in a four-three-two-one. I think that he can hold it down. His passing is good enough. He's physically very good and good in the air. And then lastly, we have ninety-eight verts, ninety-three pace, ninety-five shooting, ninety-eight passing, ninety-eight dribbling, eighty defending, and eighty-three physical. I like that they are boosting the defending and the physical for these cam or center mid type cards to make them more usable all round. But this card looks incredible. His passing and his dribbling are going to be out of this world. And he is probably going to be the most expensive. It's either going to be him, Musayala, or the fullbacks, Frimpong and Grimaldo. But that is the full leaf team of the season for the Bundesliga. Starts tomorrow at 1 p.m. I am going to be streaming tomorrow. Probably later in the day, around like 2.30, 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. But Saturday and Sunday, I will be streaming after 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to come hang out, you're more than welcome to. I would love the company. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, um, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Let me know if you like the leaks or if you'd rather just be surprised. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.